lesson we're up to number four hopefully you've been following along you've you've done the first three now you're probably getting pretty comfortable with that right hand um, playing those eighth notes and that left hand sitting there on two and four so of course this lesson we're going to change that up but if you haven't gotten there you probably want to keep practicing you don't want to be thinking about your right hand anymore or maybe even your left hand if it's just on two and four you want to be getting that to be pretty automatic and then you can just work on bass drum rhythms um, but you can take all the same beats you've been working on if you haven't done it already, you can change that right hand over from doing eighth notes to doing quarter notes. So let's try that. Start with our original beat. So one and two and three. And maybe loosen that left foot up a little bit. And then four on the floor. things should um, work into your mix and you should get comfortable as comfortable as you are with eighth notes get as that comfortable with your right hand doing those quarter notes and then let's move that coordination mix up just a little bit and let's start adding some eighth notes with our left hand and we can start off with our same basic beat and then we'll add two and and then we'll add four and with our left hand so back to eighth notes now with our right hand one and two and there's our basic beat one both. One. And then let's do and two and four. Alright, that's the idea. Once you get that, then do them with four on the floor. start putting back in those eighth notes with your right foot and here's a couple of those. One. And then you can do some starting on the beats. One. So you can mix, mix and match those as well changing up your left hand, changing up your right foot, um, just trying to get comfortable playing other than two and four. So you're still sticking to eighth notes everywhere, but we're, we're trying to get the two and, and the and two, and the four and, and the and four in, and, and getting the same, those same eighth notes in with your right foot. Now you're not necessarily gonna hear those kind of beats a whole lot through the entire verse or chorus of a song, but that, Coordination, that ability to add that left hand, you'll find that very useful getting into fills, getting out of fills sometimes, just little intro pieces, sometimes in the bridge of a song. Um, but that level of coordination, being able to move that left hand around is, is very important and you need to work on it so you have those smooth and you want to play those also at a variety of tempos and dynamics just like everything else. And we talked um, in a previous lesson about doing a shuffle beat and we did that with our right hand where if you remember we were doing there's sort of a triplet feel one three four six one three four six one or that dotted eighth sixteenth note notation so we can achieve that same sort of feel using our left hand so we'll play straight fours on our right foot and our right hand and we'll we'll play that dotted eighth sixteenth pattern with our left hand so that's going to be one two three Double that up, and that's going to have a constant series of that 16th note, 8th note pattern like that, and it's going to sound something like this. Okay, hope that gives you a lot more to work on. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with your drumming, and we'll hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.